Justice Department has now dropped its effort to keep age restrictions when selling the morning after pill. That means now that girls of any age will be able to walk into a drugstore after um, un, you know, a sex that they think may have resulted in a, in a pregnancy and take a plan B off the shelf and buy it. Dr. Manny Alvarez is the senior managing editor of FoxNewsHealth.com, a member of the Fox News Medical A team, and you and I have spoken about this before. I know you're very against uh, this. And you, you feel, because the last time we talked, you had to be 17. So what happened? Uh, we went from 17 to 15 to now uh, any age, no ID. You can just walk in and buy it off the shelf. And as I said before, I've written about it, we have been bamboozled. Uh, bamboozled by an administration that, in my opinion, uh, this is the agenda that they wanted right from the very beginning. Yes, I know that uh, Secretary Sebelius went on the record and said, well, uh, I don't want to approve it for all ages because I wanted more studies, uh, especially for younger children at the age of 10. That didn't happen. Uh, the president himself, when uh, confronted with uh, the su supporting Sebelius, said, well, you know, I have daughters. Yeah. I, I see the whole point. Well, then why don't you do something about it if that's your belief? You know, from a scientific point of view, I know, yes, Plan B is safe for women. Uh, but since when? is a 10-year-old a woman. This, you know, all the advocates that, that say, oh, this is a great success for women's health rights uh, and, you know, and all of that. I get the whole thing. If you want to say women, fine. But a 10-year-old and an 11-year-old, a 12-year-old, those are, those are kids. They're, 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 well, well, they're let me, not even teenagers. Let me play the uh, other side of this with you because I was listening to a discussion on the radio this morning as I was coming into work. And the feeling was, you know, this is horrible. Nobody wants to see a child this young pregnant uh, but that this is better than the alternative of a, of a child that age, and you're an obstetrician, and I know you, you have seen a lot in yeah, your work. And, and, uh, and they say, well, you know what, this, this is better than, than not having it. Well, I think this is going to make it worse, and the reason that I say this is because, you know, we have had a teen problem pregnancy in the past, and I grew up in the 70s taking care, you know, of patients where we had teenage pregnancy clinics and that those numbers have come down dramatically right. now we didn't have pan, uh, plan b uh, then but what we had was more education towards teenagers we had uh, better access to, uh, especially in schools for sex education parents got the message loud and clear yeah. kids got the message and loud the numbers and clear did come and down. the numbers came down yeah so now you have taken a federal step to you know, to further uh, uh, take away any kind of parental information. So right, right now, basically, any child who uh, gets on the internet or listens to the news is, you know, what I'm 11 year old, yeah. uh, and I see you know all these guys, people talking about. Uh, I don't have to talk to my parents about anything now, especially when it comes to sex education. So uh, I think this is something that is taking the parents away. It's absolutely taking the parents away from it. Right. I, I sent my daughter to buy, you know, uh, you know, the D level of allergy medicine. The other day at CBS, and, and they wouldn't sell it to her without an ID that showed she was 18. You can't buy cold medicine. You, can, you can't get your appendix taken out without your parents standing right by your side in the hospital. But you can do this with no problem. Right. Explain and, what kind of world we live in when that, that's that, the situation. The, and the, ration, you know, the rationale is really something that I can't put my, my, my head around it, uh, because they say, well, uh, abuse. There, there's data already to support that. I'll, even at the college level, yeah. they look at this as, uh, as something that right. maybe I could use this as a routine uh, birth control. So this is a terrible decision, but I knew yeah. that we were going to be better. We're going to get cut off. Thank you, All Dr. Right. Manning. We'll be right back.